WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and cool and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the upside. Dow's up 49 points, S&P 9, NASDAQ 135, Russell's up 20. That's a little over 1%, almost 1% for the semis are up 33 points. Trendy's up 25. Gold's up $9, with silver being down 9 pennies. Lights recruit has taken a hit down $2.21. Natural gas off 2 cents, and a 30-year treasury up one point and two ticks. She's printed out at 1.2016. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that. Nine panel market update chart. We begin upper left hand corner ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, we don't have any kind of a top in place as we speak. What we do have is that very narrow range profile support 4551 resistance 4582. We're trading at 4581.50 right now. Spot volatilics is trading below its 50 it's below its 50 day exponential moving average, but also below yesterday's low. We really should be seeing more of a rally inside the S&P or the ES mini out there. It tells you just how strong those sellers are at the 4582. 50 level. If you take a look at the NQ, we've just got a good old fashioned consolidation with inside its profiles. 14,599.50 is support, and 15,366.75 is resistance. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it did close above the top of its daily profile. Now, on my white background charts, I've got an, a different set of profiles. I think it's right around 103.90 is a level that price needs to close above in order to suggest to move up to the 105.76 level. Gold, which has a sell the D point pattern, is consolidating with inside its profile. Support at 2023.20, resistance 2080.60. Uh, silver has got a sell the D point. Price is below the bottom of its daily profile. This could be day number two below that profile. That suggests there could be a change in trend. Light Street Crude is trading below the trend line resistance level. It's headed back towards its swing point out here. This is a swing point from May 4th, the top of which is 67.60. We've been down to as low as 60. 998. If we take a look at natural gas out there, again, this is something we should just consider coming back to in January. It's trading below profile levels. It's still, it's very unfavorable. December is the worst performing month. November, December are just horrible for natural gas. Uh, it doesn't look like this December is going to be any better. Now, 30 year treasury, it did hit the one to one. A to B equals CD price projection level. Uh, that does not mean it's time to sell it. You wait for a bearish reversal candle. If you get a bearish reversal candle, then you've got a sell the deep point or a Gartley sell pattern. Otherwise, price is going to go ahead higher, 122, 123 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.